Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of and the history to fit their narrative. To be honest, this channel is in danger, maybe it will gone soon. Therefore, I hope you guys subscribe my backup channel, so we can stay connected every day. Please check the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Newman College, Melbourne University. It was presumably built in 1916 to 1918. You can notice beautiful Tartarian architecture with antennas on top for producing etheric energy. It's the same pattern we see all over the world from once a global civilization now forgotten and removed from the history. Tomb of Zakaria and Saint Athanasius. It looks like something else, and was repurposed as a tomb. This archaeological site called Sahasralinga, is located on the Shalmala River in the Indian state of Karnataka. When summer comes and the water level in the river drops, hundreds of pilgrims come here. A variety of mysterious stone and metal, carved in time immemorial, are exposed from under the water. The claim that thousands of builders would drag one stone at a time to build the pyramids is a false theory that makes no sense. The people who control the world know this, so they make lies to hide the giants, and instead they use their fake evolution dinosaur theories to continue their propaganda. If you want to know the truth on how they build the pyramids, look no further than the art that was made by the Egyptian civilization. In the art, it shows 10 2-plus feet giants building the pyramids and everything else. The art shows giants carrying giant stones two times at once. Giants build the pyramids, it's very clear. The elite occult elite love to lie about everything, because knowledge is power. Before industrialization, there was only one form of sophisticated architecture, worldwide, in every country. Known today as historicism, or revival architecture, because according to the official narrative, virtually all of these buildings were created only in the 19th century, supposedly as a throwback to ancient architectural trends, neo-Gothic, neo-Renaissance, neo-Baroque, etc. The basic principles of these buildings were always the same. The quality of these buildings is unmatched, they hardly age. The copper roofs used last far more than 1000 years, it is difficult to objectively determine their age. Is this an indication of a unified global culture and civilization that only recently broke into individual kingdoms national states? Even Japan had classical buildings before 1900, although Japan was still completely isolated from the outside world until 1850, and even after that, after the British forcibly conquered Japan, only slowly and hesitantly opened up to the West. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The car powered by free energy. This is an excerpt from an article in the Denver Post published on August 8, 1921. Has an invention been made that will revolutionize the electrical world? Will the apparatus conceived by a Denver man light buildings, run automobiles, battleships, power plants by the unlimited supply of electricity in the air? Denver electrical experts say yes, and the young inventor, C. R. Landman, Monday demonstrated his invention by attaching it to an old automobile and running it about the city. An atmospheric generator is the name of Ammon's apparatus. 
It is a compact cylindrical object with two small brass spheres protruding from the top. Inside, Ammon says, is an arrangement of steel wires and minerals, so fixed as to draw the electricity from the air, condense it and utilize it for driving power. The automobile which Ammon used for his demonstration Monday was the body and chassis of an electric vehicle. There are said to be no batteries in the car. It propelled itself with remarkable speed at the touch of the foot, climbed hills and glided through a maze of traffic under easy control. Anyway, this is some other proof of giant. To end this video, let's take a look at the photos of this magnificent building. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.